Hi dear friends, I'm Simple Patra here from Simple Digital School. I welcome each one of you today on 21st lecture of Management Information Systems or Information Systems Management which is actually a subject of BBA, BCom Honours, MBA and BCA in many of the universities. So we have already started up with many other lectures. You can find the links in the description box. Let's start with today's topic. We have already started with the system development that is SDLC or SDLC ke alag alag models. So today we are going to start up with the SDLC model 5 which is iterative and incremental method or model right so let's start types of sdlc models or we call it methodologies of system development also so we have already covered up these waterfall model v-shaped model evolutionary model spiral model in the previous lectures and today we'll be talking about iterative and incremental method which is red colored here and agile development will be covering in the next lecture. So let's start iterative or incremental method. The same is called as iterative incremental model also. So today firstly we will be talking about what is iterative incremental model. Its complete diagram we will be talking about its advantages, disadvantages and later when to use this particular model that is in which situations we can opt for this model. Basically iterative incremental model is the combination of two methods. First is iterative method and the other one is incremental method. You can see here these are the two methods mainly used. Why these two? So that whatever loopholes were there in the earlier models they can be covered here to a big extent. It is mainly for developing systems which can produce the deliverables so that we can have a proper deliverables available. The aim is the partial implementation of a total system is constructed so that it can be a deliverable or increment released. The idea is there should be some product or deliverable ready which can be partially delivered to the customer. Basically an incremental model is used to increase the functionality. That is the increased functionality can be added with the each iteration and increment. Basically one iteration means completing the one cycle of system development and releasing the one increment. With every increment the functionality is added to the increments from increment 1 to increment n in the series module by module. Right? What I mean to say is that when we system jab end mein we need to develop to usko hum various increments mein deliver karte hai customer ko and what happens ke first increment mein hum kuch functionality provide karte hai second increment mein we are increasing the functionality module by module usse what happens the customer can check the every increment can give the feedback and actually we can work upon the feedback through this method in which increments are delivered defects are checked and fixed at each iteration then only working product is delivered so number two sabse important cheese ke har iteration ke saath jab ek naya increment produce hoga to har increment mein it becomes easier to check the defects by doing the testing of the second increment third increment and so on so that the working product which comes out in the end comes out to be of a good quality product. Correct? Third, the process is repeated until the final product development is completed. So, here you can say the process, the iterations will be 
carried on till the time the final product is not ready and the customer is not satisfied the repetitions of these processes are called as iterations at the end of each iteration a product increment is delivered this is very important that at each iteration after every iteration the product increment is delivered so the number of iterations depends upon the customer satisfaction also so let's give a look to the diagram here you can see this is the actual process of a one iteration here this is a first iteration we are showing you can see it is the iteration one we have shown in this the requirements is the first phase of this particular iteration so in every iteration you have a first phase of requirements gathering then second is of analysis done here the third one is of design and the fourth one is of coding and then the software or system products first increment is delivered over here you can see here and this entire iteration is repeated several times till the time the customer is not satisfied ek bar jab customer gives the feedback ki yes we are okay with the product whichever you have given to us as a increment then only the product is finalized correct this is the second iteration you can see here iteration 2 the exact same iteration is repeated over here and similarly it goes on till the time the customer is not satisfied that is why iteration n that is it depends upon the satisfaction level of a customer also that how many iterations will be carried on so first iteration se lekar n number of iterations tak pura ka pura process repeat hoga requirements gathering analysis design coding ye charo phase har iteration mein repeat kiye jayenge so that hamari sare requirements mein jo changes aate hain they can be accommodated very easily in the next upcoming increment defects errors check honge the quality improve hogi testing acche se ho jayegi right and the customer evaluation is also done side by side so let's talk about these four phases of the incremental development now requirements phase it deals with the scope of the project so this is same as we have a requirements phase of sdlc that feasibility study is done different kind of feasibility study is done economic financial and so on risks are also taken care here then analysis phase which is the second phase of your every iteration here functional and non functional requirements are identified clearly here and generally this is the second phase of sdlc which we have studied earlier also design phase it delivers the working architecture of components incrementally this is important here ki yahan par har increment ke sath डिजाइन में उसका आर्किटेक्चर चेंज होगा बिकॉज रिक्वायरमेंट्स हर बार रिफाइन होंगी सो क्रिएशन ऑफ कंप्लीट लॉजिकल डिजाइन विद द इंटर कनेक्शन ऑफ वेरियस मॉड्यूल्स देखिए हम जब बात करते हैं आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ अ सिस्टम मींस मल्टीपल मॉड्यूल्स विच विल बी द पार्ट ऑफ द सिस्टम दे आर इंटर टुगेदर हेयर एंड चेक दैट हाउ दे एक्चुअली बिहेव विद ईच अदर तो यहाँ पर जब हम इंक्रीमेंट्स की बात कर रहे हैं आइटरेटिव मॉडल की बात कर रहे हैं तो हर आइटरेशन के अंदर देखिए आप रिक्वायरमेंट्स भी रिफाइन हो रही हैं उसके बेसिस के ऊपर हमारे नेक्स्ट फेजेस जो कि एनालिसिस डिजाइन और कोडिंग है वो भी चेंज होंगे सो दिस इज वॉट इट मीन्स है कि आर्किटेक्चर में चेंज आएगा कोई मॉड्यूल बढ़ भी सकता है और कोई मॉड्यूल कम भी हो सकता है कोडिंग फेज actual coding is done testing is done and the systems increment is delivered to the customer for the feedback in this particular phase what happens coding yahan hum karte hain testing karte hain to check out for the defects errors or the bugs and 
हर आइटरेशन के एंड में ये जो लास्ट फेज है इसमें इंक्रीमेंट को डिलीवर किया जाता है कस्टमर को सो दैट द कस्टमर कैन चेक इट कंप्लीटली एंड गिव द फीडबैक अकॉर्डिंगली विच द नेक्स्ट इंक्रीमेंट कैन बी प्रिपेयर सो वॉट आर इट्स एडवांटेजेस और स्ट्रेंथ्स you can develop prioritized requirements first whenever we are using iterative incremental model so first wala jo hamara iteration hoga usme sabse important hum denge prioritized requirements ko firstly then initial product delivery is faster why because फर्स्ट आइटरेशन के बाद ही सिस्टम का प्रोडक्ट का फर्स्ट इंक्रीमेंट कस्टमर को मिल रहा है जो कि वाटरफॉल मॉडल में नहीं मिल रहा था वी मॉडल में नहीं मिल रहा था राइट कस्टमर्स गेट इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शनैलिटी एट अर्ली स्टेज सो विच एवर इम्पॉर्टेंट फंक्शनैलिटीज कस्टमर सेज के आई वॉन्ट टू गेट इट फर्स्ट उसको हम इनिशियल आइटरेशन में ही डिलीवर कर सकते हैं कस्टमर को सो दैट कस्टमर इज हैप्पी लोअर्स इनिशियल डिलीवरी कॉस्ट डेफिनेटली जब स्टार्टिंग में ही मेरे पास एक वर्किंग मॉडल आ रहा है एक इंक्रीमेंट आ रहा है सो इट लोअर्स द कॉस्ट ऑफ अ फर्स्ट इंक्रीमेंट ईच रिलीज इज अ प्रोडक्ट इंक्रीमेंट सो दैट द कस्टमर विल हैव अ वर्किंग प्रोडक्ट एट हैंड ऑल द टाइम देखिए इन केस एक सॉफ्टवेयर और एक सिस्टम को डेवलप करते हुए फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव फिफ्टीन आइटरेशंस कंप्लीटेड तो पंद्रह के पंद्रह आइट्रेशन के एंड में यू हैव अ इंक्रीमेंट डिलीवर टू द कस्टमर एंड द कस्टमर कैन इवेल्युएट द सिस्टम वेरी वेल कस्टमर कैन गिव द फीडबैक एंड चेक एट एवरी मोमेंट दैट उनके सजेशंस आर इनकॉर्पोरेटेड और नॉट प्रॉपरली सो कस्टमर हैज अ वर्किंग मॉडल इन हैंड आफ्टर एवरी आइट्रेशन हेयर Customer can provide the feedback to each product increment. The end product is of a very good quality. Definitely, her iteration ke baad ek naya increment hai with the added functionality, and the customer can check and give the feedback side by side. Requirements change can be easily accommodated. Definitely, there is no hard and fast rule के requirements पहले से पता हो Dynamically, जैसे जैसे requirements पता चलती जाती है customer is telling and with every increment that can be accommodated or added. So these are the advantages, disadvantages or weaknesses. Yes. requires effective planning of iterations without effective planning of iterations it might go into a loss with iterative incremental model requires efficient design to ensure inclusion of the required functionality and provision for the changes later it again requires a very good design so that हमें अगर कोई नई फंक्शनैलिटी को ऐड करना है या चेंजेस को ऐड करना है उसे हम बाद में भी इनकॉर्पोरेट कर सकें वंस द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट इज डिलीवर्ड सो डिज़ाइन हैज टू बी फ्लेक्सिबल इनफ अकोमोडेट चेंजेस इवन इन द फ्यूचर रिक्वायर्स अर्ली डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ कंप्लीट एंड फुली फंक्शनल सिस्टम टू अलाउ द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द इंक्रीमेंट्स वेरी राइट इन आइटरेटिव इंक्रीमेंटल मॉडल we should know the fully functional requirements and their definition completely and clearly why because agar mujhe 15 increments mein ya 10 increments mein pura system develop karna hai so i need to divide those requirements in the separate modules which can be added in those 10 increments in a systematic way well defined module interfaces are required to plan the sequence in which modules will be developed very correct module interfaces is the main medium of interaction between the customer and the system which will be developed so it becomes essential that the module interfaces jo module ka gui hai हर मॉड्यूल का जी वो क्लियरली वेल डिफाइंड हो इन द वेरी बिगिनिंग बिकॉज इन अ सीक्वेंस एवरी मॉड्यूल विल बी एडेड विद एवरी आइट्रेशन इन एवरी इंक्रीमेंट टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ द कंप्लीट सिस्टम इज नॉट लोअर व्हाई? बिकॉज आइट्रेशन इफ आर फाइव टेन 
15 it depends upon the customer satisfaction the more will be the iterations the more will be the costing so when to use the iterative incremental model when most of the requirements are known up front but are expected to evolve over the time when we know that these are the basic requirements beforehand but there is a probability of changing of those requirements with the due course of time of development of the project the requirements are prioritized yes when it is clearly said by the customer that my priority is the fulfillment of my requirements then only iterative incremental model should be used so that if the cost even goes up the customer remains okay with it there is a need to get the basic functionality delivered fast definitely whenever the customer wants key this is the basic functionality which must be prioritized and delivered with the first iteration or with the first increment then only go for this model a project has a lengthy development schedules whenever you are developing a project which uses a new technology and there is a need to understand the new technology in that case iterative incremental model is really good whenever you are developing a system or a project for a new domain or a new subject areas then you should use such kind of iterative incremental model iterations goes on till the time the customer is not satisfied correct so basically this is a combined approach where we are trying to come up with such a system developed which is of a high quality customer is satisfied less errors less bugs and moreover requirements are accommodated dynamically with due course of development of increments i hope all of you are enjoying the lectures do write down in the comment box that exactly how you are finding the lectures thanks a lot and our next topic will be agile development which is the last model of sdlc and have a blessed life do subscribe like and share the channel bye bye take care